This video demonstrates adding location information to host nodes. Here, we see a host whose name has no location assigned. We can add a location by using a custom pattern developed from the template host location pattern provided in BMC Discovery. We use a custom category to define the location. Let's take a look at location in custom categories. Click Administration. In the Model section, click Custom Categories and select the Location tab. We can see locations and we see London and Manchester. The criteria for selecting hosts were that their names begin with either LDN or MCR. So we can search for the host by using a generic query. Click Search and then Generic Search Query. Enter the query to find the hosts. We can run it, and we see that we have six hosts. Three are in London and three in Manchester. We'll add them to a manual group called London and Manchester. This group contains the hosts that we are going to apply location information to. To apply the location, we use a pattern, so we'll go to Knowledge Management. Click Manage and select Knowledge. There's a template pattern provided, called the template underscore host underscore location pattern. The places in the file marked with a double dollar sign need to be edited to match our requirements. Here is a copy of the pattern that was downloaded and edited. We can see the following changes. I've changed the module name to avoid potential clashes with other modules. LDN which means London Data Center. MCR which means Manchester Data Center. We have the overview in which demo is the tag. All patterns must have at least one tag. The trigger for this pattern is on host where a host is created and confirmed. The pattern will trigger on a host and test the conditions we supply by using the regular expression. The regular expression starts with a caret for the start of the string, and then in brackets, we have three dots to capture three characters. When this pattern executes it triggers on all of the hosts that we run it against and it will capture the first three letters of the host name if it begins with LDN or MCR. Any other matches are ignored. We'll upload the new pattern. Click Upload, choose the pattern, and click Upload on the File Browser dialog. As it's a new pattern, we'll run it against record data. We're in playback mode and discovery is stopped. That means we're testing the pattern against known data, and nothing else is going to happen. The pattern is activated on upload so we can run it straight away. Now we'll run the pattern against the manual group containing the hosts we found earlier. We'll select the pattern. We see the pattern module, and then click to see the pattern page, and from the actions menu we can run it. Make sure we have the London and Manchester group selected. It's also worth checking that the condition here matches the trigger condition. This says hosts, and we're triggering on hosts. If you were trying to trigger against processes you would expect to see processes here. Now we can run the pattern. As expected, all the hosts met the trigger condition. The search was on the criteria that we wanted for the hosts. And we can click the link to see the results. Now let's check the hosts. We'll look at this London-based host and see whether we have a location added. Yes, we do. And now let's check the Manchester host, where we also have a location. So this demo has shown you how to use TPL to associate hosts with locations. For more information, see the link documentation.